Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play the Stanley Parable. Now, obviously we did one ending last time, we're gonna do another one this time. And basically, Stanley we're probably gonna go, to we're not gonna room. do what the Perhaps narrator says this time. This do the complete opposite, and then after that we'll just kind of go do random things. And then just kinda, you know, do that. When Let's Stanley go. came right to a set of two this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly. Right, so I already know my way Perhaps around, because, you know, first, it's, it's not that hard to understand what you do just once. To admire it. Um, yes. You admire this one. Ah, it's very yes. nice, guys. Don't you agree with me, eh? Worth it's beautiful in it here. Really I would worth stay here for the rest of my life if I was able to. Just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. It's a pretty cute door. Let's go this way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Hey! Hey! You're rude, okay? You can shut your mouth now. I wonder, I wonder what that way goes. I wonder what's over there. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'll try that I'm next time. Sure. I'll look at that. Really I don't know where that goes. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. Wasn't well, that sweet, narrator? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Oh? Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. But... I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. Her? Oh, by the way, sorry for my dog. This is it, Stanley. Sigh. Hello. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside, to let, let her, her back, back into, into your, your life. life. She's been waiting. She's been waiting. What? That's her, Stanley. Oh. You need to be the one to do this, to reach out to her. Um. If you can truly place your faith in another, then pick up the phone. Um. What does what does this do? As Stanley Jeez. picked up the phone, but. a white light engulfed him, filling him not just with radiance, but with hope. Hope for a life reunited one... Wait. Oh, goodness. Stanley, did you just unplug the phone? Was I not no, supposed to do that? Like, to what's going choice. on? How did you do that? Um, I just unplugged it right there. Is, is... I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Oh dear God, guys! I think we're about to be screwed here in a second. Definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment, where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. <laughs> Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. This doesn't sound understand. very good. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you? Wait a second. Did I just see? No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it what, sooner? What, what's going on, narrator? I'm so confused. Me. You're a real person. What? <sighs> oh, oh, yeah. I can't I, believe I, I'm, I'm so mistaken. I'm right this here. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol yeah, for um, real-world decision-making. Uh, um, or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment what? so we can educate what? you properly on safe decision-making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. Stephen, that's He could nice. spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically what? set fire to every orphan <sighs> living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world may Oh, by the way, guys, you can no hear it. I'm sorry for my TV in the background. That does not conform to just kind of, just on. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner <laughs> and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. 
<laughs> what? A bag sack and crack? <laughs> what is this even going on here? Oh dear. Oh dear, the frame drop is real. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay then. Ah, oh, oh, go oh, dear God! Back. You may have noticed. I guess I will be right back. To the a result of narrative contradiction, but not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This oh, okay way, then. Um. Right. Okay, that, that, that's... that's... okay. Here? I'm assuming? Or what? Over here? Am I, am I going back here? Uh... Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jump oh. off the platform. <laughs> Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Right. Um, I'm just going to have to go all the way back to the front then. I don't know. It's, it's, I mean, this game is really linear, but then again, really kind of crazy at the same time, so... Just going to assume I have to go back to the, uh, the the two doors or whatever at the beginning. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Ah, oh, but... Uh, I, I want to go... I want to... I want to I wanna see if this happens. I want to see how this goes. Screw it. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other okay. direction. Perhaps Never we're not mind. too late. Sorry. Uh. Uh, run. I'm scared. Oh, oh ruined. my god. I can't believe <laughs> what we the talked hell? about that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! You Why? can't jump. For what? God damn what did it. What you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage, it, well, it's worth this now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. I'm sorry, narrator. I really am. Okay, do do? don't kill me. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. What? No. I have no. to. No. No. What is? No. What is going on? Oh God. Oh God. What? What's going on? I'm so scared. Help me. What? 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 Who? Oh my god. <laughs> no, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. I now can't get out, guys. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? Uh -huh. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. Jeez. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? 
that there's a world outside of you. You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Um, okay. Is behave exactly what? as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story <laughs> first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Okay, then. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a but I want to go the doors, right door though. He entered the door on his left. No, I want to go the right door. Go die. No. Why did you <laughs> do that? Quickly, hurry. <laughs> what? Um. Is behave exactly as Stanley. What would. the hell? That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. What? Just what? follow my Just kind of skip back. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. But I want to go the right door, though. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry! Uh, what? Is behave exactly. Uh, fine, as fine, did. fine. That I'll go to the left door. And always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead, and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, I, I, I guess we'll just go this way. Um. Yet there was not a single person oh, here either. It's not broken. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Left. Oh, Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Can't open that door. Thought it could be opened, I guess not, but oh well. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Oh, Shocked, okay. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's what? computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. The code. Um, what? <clears throat> Stanley spoke oh. the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. I can't do it. <laughs> it won't let me do it. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark 115. I'm, I'm speaking. I, I think I'm. I, I'm. Okay, fine. You're not going to do I, it. I can't. You know what? It's pretty humiliating. <laughs> I can't do it. This far, only for you to suddenly decide I, I, you have better things to do. What? I asked you for this one single thing for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. Um, if you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Um, what? When Stanley Wait, what? The of two open doors, he entered the door what? What? What just... What? I'm right. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? What? Stanley, please. What? I, I need you to make a choice. What? 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 The, what? I need you to walk through the door. Are Wait, what? <laughs> you know what I mean? Wait. Is everything alright? Stanley, this is wait, important. Wait, wait, this is... 
The story needs you. It needs you. To be <laughs> what? To you. You um. Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Danny, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. What? What is... I, I don't know what to say about... Did I... What? Um... Did I just really beat the game? Wait. Um... Ugh. Okay, I, I guess I beat the game, guys. Um, but don't worry, I, I guess I'll be doing more endings. Maybe another ending or two, because this is the actual legitimate ending. So if you guys enjoyed that, that, that interesting ending, and um, uh, I, I don't know. Okay, anyway, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, please, um, you know, like, subscribe, etc. If you want to see more, put it in the comments below, and... I will see you in the next part. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.